What brought you to the tough journey? It was watching a little video clip of a previous cycle Late one night, winter time. <laughs> this needs to be filmed. It's got to be filmed. Yeah, we've been messing about taking some video. Where am I going to start? I've lost my drift. <laughs> I'm just talking about <laughs> This in a... a... <laughs> Do that, Anne. Tap! Tap! And I was signed up in a quick flash. And next minute, it was like, oh my God, what have I done? All is well, that ends well. Welcome to India. See you at the other end. Go. <laughs> go. Go, I said, go. came up as an option and everybody said, yep, we're going to India. You got an experience that was completely, I guess, um, unedited. I, I feel like I've let myself in for something that I was not expecting. I got involved after being introduced to the charity by my dad, who uh, was going to do the trip himself. But unfortunately, because of his treatment, he wasn't able to, so I, uh, that's why I got involved as well. We've done now six of these bike rides and it's just been fantastic to see how the group's been evolving. I think a great way to see a country that's got such different cultures, obviously cycling through. I've done Malawi, yeah. I've done Madagascar, yeah. South Africa, yeah. and now I have done India. To me, India was just going to be such a different experience of sight, smell, sound. Well, I grew up in India, and so I knew what India was going to be like as a challenge. We're all doing this, um, the patients, the friends of the patients, the, the urologists, the medics who are on the trip as well. I'm a patient, I had my prostate removed uh, earlier this year in April, six, seven months ago. This was a group of people who know what life is all about and know you have to live it, which is why they're doing this kind of thing. Good morning, father and son. Morning. Oh, hello. I think up to 15 new people we had on this bike ride, which was fantastic. Yeah, I did a few hikes with um, prostate cancer, and that was my first ever long, very long cycle ride in uh, beautiful Rajasthan. Vive le Rajasthan! The circuit was a semicircle from Agra to Jaipur going through national parks. Being on a bike allows you to get to places where other uh, tourists cannot get to. After the first few days of getting there, you know, you got itchy feet, you wanted to get on the bike and start the cycle. First session we just took coffee uh, here. Right, okay, then and we're going. And then onto the bikes with blessings. Uh, the priest is now going to bless us so that our ride goes without any problem, etc, etc. And I will claim that I am the only person who still has his blessing on his arm. There you go. Fantastic. <laughs> it's an important duck now. Yes. Mila? Sir. A blessed Sir. 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 We make a great effort to get off the beaten track, allow our bikes to take us across mud, sand, dirt, and anything else that you can throw up in front of us. We've caused a complete traffic chaos, but I think they quite like that. Negotiating with a bus driver is quite tricky as well. <laughs> it is, yeah. Um, and and they definitely win. As they well. definitely do win. Yeah. Namaste, namaste. You just had to focus 100% and the concentration that that took was actually very wearing. I'm just saying that I'm feeling exceedingly sore. I've got no feeling in my right hand, but I'm enjoying every minute. Really? I started to lose the feeling in my hand slightly. Thankfully, I had a great roommate who could help me to fasten things at the back of me that my hands wouldn't do. I had to help her do her bra strap up every morning. <laughs> so there we are, Lorraine. We are buddies now. You never really felt on your own. Um, struggling. We all help, help each other and there was a lot of laughter. And have you any message for the newcomers? The newbies, yes, yes uh, we were. We had lots of new cyclists, people who hadn't been on the previous rides before. We, we called them the newbies. We had a new ceremony, we had a welcoming the newbies. Oh uh, yeah, the initiation. Yeah, that was. Yeah.
we all sort of sat in a line on a chair. We put our hands out in front of us. And what did we have to do? Close our eyes? We, well, yeah, we had to close our eyes. Yeah, they had to eat what they thought was a raw goat's testicle. But then actually it was just a ball of sweet cheese. So yeah, although a few of us horrifying. Did, did think it was real. Did my dad? Your dad refused. No, no, I think he ate it. He just He still thought it like was real. Girl, <laughs> well, the thank you from the newbies to the oldies. Uh, As a group, they were truly inspiring. Um, that there isn't one person on that ride who I wouldn't do it with all over again. We've cycled together, we've fallen off the bikes together. Tell us about the sound, Anne. Um, it's, scary, it's, it's quite sandy. One day we had to cycle through six inch deep sand. It was, it was impossible. We had to get off and push. Yeah, I'm looking forward to falling off and doing a face plant in the sand later. It's tricky and suddenly I almost came off with a couple of, couple of moments. You can't fall down. Famous last words. <laughs> Oh, I got that one! Got that one! How many times did you fall off yesterday? Four times. If not, a walk in the bloody park. <laughs> it was hard, but it wasn't a hardship. What we all do on these trips is help each other. Because it's not a race. Yep. We're doing it for a good cause and we all want to do it together. The best part of it was that the interaction with the people that we met. Fantastic to see all the kids rushing out and putting all the smiles on their faces. Little kids were running out to see us. They were running across fields and jumping up and down. The villagers ran to the roadsides often and treated us like VIPs. You'd be cycling for miles and miles through fields and fields on these dirt roads and then you'll come through a village and all of a sudden you'll be surrounded by people. That was so, so, so touching um, and that was every single day from the time we started to the end. Billy and myself got chatting to uh, a set of three very cheeky young Indian boys who were quite intrigued by our get-up. Mysterious in a way, looking at us like, what are they doing? You know, this sort of herd of people in Lycras. And it was very humbling, but they are some of the happiest people that I have ever seen in my life. They find happiness in what's in front of them. Women took me into their house and dressed me up. They didn't speak English, I didn't speak their language. We laughed. We could understand each other. And you think to yourself, why do I complain so much? Why can't I just be happy with the abundance that I have in life? Coming from sort of first world where we have everything on tap. You have the realisation that if not for the environment, these kids are no different to kids here. And one of the real highlights for me was we visited a school on our way. Can I have the Urology Foundation? Krishna Patil, who is a urologist who came to the UK and has been very successful here, he told them his story that once he was a little boy sitting on the floor and how he'd educated himself and always pushed himself, he basically said anything's possible and they all loved him. They did not take their eyes off him. We also try and put a little bit back into the area that we visit. We've had the most marvellous welcome. We'd like to give you a token of our appreciation of your beautiful country. On this occasion, we raised various items for donation prior to actually leaving for India. Very minimal amount of things they had. Yeah, they're learning. I mean, in India, everything is so much more simple. You, you think about things in a certain way that you just can't find uh, back home in London. There's something about cycling when you get a little time on your own on a bicycle where you can look at the scenery, reflect on all the things that you complain about. It really gave me a moment to sort of, yeah, I guess be introspective. You know, it's meditative to an extent. It actually forces you to kind of come outside of one's normal day-to-day -day life and it really gives you a break, a really true break out of doing something which is actually a bit of hard work. On the way, I think you discover a lot of fulfillment. It's a bit of a cliche, but I 
came back feeling a lot better about myself, which is a little selfish considering we did this for other people. We call ourselves the Tuffers because uh, we are cycling for the Urology Foundation and actually the rides we do are quite tough. When the going gets tough... The tough get going! <laughs> We're not just a prostate cancer charity. We are focusing on all um, aspects of urology. That's bladders, kidneys, continence issues, and of course, all of those things include women. Times are changing. Lots of urologists are women. And I was really surprised to see the number of women on the cycle. It really does create this feeling of it being a tough family. And, and it really is a family. Here I am, uh, signed up for it, raised the money, put some money back into this organisation that looked after me so superbly. To actually help a cause that really is saving lives was something very special for me. And the bottom line is that we raised a lot of much needed funding. This trip has fundraised enough money for us to create five centres of robotic urology training in England. Well done, all the toughers. Oh, stretch! It's feeling a bit sad that it's all going to be over. We had such a wonderful time. Coming across at the end of that cycle ride was like I was winning an Olympic gold medal. You've done it! I was choked. I could. I feel a bit emotional now, even talking about it. I'd only ever won a mousy mousy at junior school. This is us finishing 450k. How do you feel? to hearing where we can go next time. Can you come in on the next one with us? Am I, am I allowed to refuse? I would say yes every time you ask me to do it again. You'll see that country. And then, of course, at the same time, you're raising money for a fantastic charity as well. Should be a fantastic ride, which we're planning for the, uh, for the autumn of 2017. I very much hope that anybody who's watching this will actually bite the bullet and come with us. You will have a blast. It's, this whole place is like a one massive film set. Let's go.